Pera. I was the bit what? Sort of sweet, almost like a dessert. Yeah, <laughs> 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 The dough rolled into little balls. I don't know what those can like the most appetizing. Yes, I know. And um, once it's cooked, even more so. But yeah, some of you guys were asking me what we're making, and it's basically like mochi, like a hacka mochi. And see the little leaf? My granny actually went to the park and picked them off trees herself. It's one of those recipes that's been passed for generations. So. Okay, so tell me you're leaving an Asian household with I actually telling me you're leaving an Asian household. They're like, take these home. And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. So they force it into my handbag. <laughs> and I'm on my way home. Had a lovely morning and afternoon with Granny Bob's Then I went to have lunch with my mommy as well. So both ladies are happy. I literally washed my ring properly. And yeah, now it's all like murky from, you know, making the the Gaisi tan together, but it was just so worth it. Definitely highlight of my day. I'm going to enjoy my journey home. Looks like we're going to be stuck in traffic for a while, uh, but I'm going to listen to a podcast. So I will talk to you guys later. Tom just got a haircut and oh, just so he has an easier time when it's easier for his joints. I do it while he's on a little doggy bed, but it just means there's a bit more cleanup, but it's okay because. He's just a bit comfier. Obviously, I know he could get groomed really nice in a proper groomer, but just with his joints and then chubby skin, um, I'm sure there are great groomers are there that really are careful. If I do it myself, it's just I know for sure they're gonna be okay, even if they probably look a bit scruffy, but as long as they're comfortable, that's all I care about. It's your turn. It's really windy today. I think she's called Storm Kathleen. So I don't know, like I feel like when I was younger, there didn't seem to be as many storms. Hello, pretty girl and pretty boy. <laughs> he looks like a bit of a drowned rat. younger and my granny would make this I would just turn my nose at it I thought it looked weird um, just wanted to eat you know the other Western stuff and I really wasn't until I became older I really look it looks like bad poo yeah <laughs> so yeah granny bobs. like past our generation basically yeah, I'm taste of it later. Yep. try it in the fridge. <laughs> he barely took a taste. <laughs> we only have a few days left until Easter holiday is over. I knew I was a bit overwhelmed um, the first half of the holidays. I'm gonna miss these slow mornings when I go back to school. Yeah, today is the kids' last day off oh, before they go back to school for the <coughs> holidays. I know. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking them to see my mom. We're gonna be having lunch together. Ayla has actually requested to go shopping with her papa. You know, I've told Ayla that growing up, like my mom has just never been, you know, the type, you know, like with playgrounds, like trips to the farm. Um, like that's just never been her thing, but my mom loved to go shopping. So, yeah, you know like how there's five love languages? Well, I think my mom's love language is gifts and that's how she feels loved and that's how she shows her love. Fortunately, Ayla also loves to go out and love out looking at things. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring them all to lunch today and just spend some time together. We're on our way back. Did you have a nice time with Papa today? Yes, Mommy. Where's my A-Hat bag? 
it's in the book. Like Ayla had the best time shopping with her grandmother. She was like picking out her handbag. What else did she get? It was like different shirts, dresses, headbands. Even Isaac got something as well. Do you want to show everybody what you got later? Our home and Ayla wants to show you guys her haul. The majority of the stuff here is from Primark and Dun Stores. My favorite. This is your favorite. Oh my goodness. A for what? Ayla. So back then we used to pick everything for her but now she's sort of getting into a stage where she likes to pick her own clothes. Oh my I look at apples. that. Oh I think Popo picked this one for you. A little jacket. No, I picked that. I you picked this yourself. Yet. And she also got this dress that's got the puffy sleeves. And it's got the watercolor flowers. And I also got this one. You got two flower dresses. Now you always talk about making haul videos. This is how you do it. You say this is what it looks like. What do you like about it? My favorite is this still. This dress is pretty though, nice for summer. This is still my favorite. <laughs> Isaac got some Pokemon socks. <laughs> oh, my foot, my foot. You're... A Pokemon sweater. And also Can we this have t-shirt. And then Red she got them. this white shirt. This is from Dunn Stores. This you need lilac butterfly skirt. Butterfly hair clips. Mm. I used to wear these when I was a little girl. And some headbands. No, you like it. Oh, and one more for accessory. Hey, that's bigger than my shoes. Can we take a picture for Daddy? I'm officially oh, ready. Oh my goodness. So Cal has had it. An extra set from three sets to four. And you think one more set, no problem. And I feel it. Loved it. Whew. Since I moved in here, we've had this, this is called a quick tap. And what it basically does is instead of a kettle, it gives me instant hot water. And after eight beautiful years, it finally broke. I have to get up, use a kettle for now. I have to boil water. So it means going back to boiling water and using a kettle, you know, which is also a luxury to have, but like, you know the term, oh, you want tea? I'll put the kettle on. I can say that now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great day. Um, you know, one of my favorite memories of my mommy is like when we have like shopping days, like my mom is just like a very girly, girly girl. They're back to school tomorrow and it has been great. I actually haven't even touched my, oh, what's this? I haven't even touched my iPad um, just because it's been so busy with the kids. No idea where it is, but and Ayla's left a little sun picture here, which is really sweet because she knows it's my happy place. But I do look forward to drawing again. So I'm gonna go shower. I'm a little bit of a sweaty mess. Granny called me. She wants to make more of these. She called me early in the morning. So we've got our glutinous rice flour. Got her barn sugar. She's got monkey nuts. No, I had the hardest time trying to figure out what this powder is, and thankfully, a very kind follower let me know it's actually grinded from a plant in Asia. I've been ordered to shell these monkey nuts. As a child, I would watch my granny make this every year, but I didn't really used to take much interest and I wish I helped out from a younger age. Granny with her lava hands and sell with maple. The trick is to get nice and high. When I shared some footage of us making this together, a few of you guys messaged and said it brought back a lot of nostalgic memories. So I'm really glad that made you smile. I know for some of you guys, it's also bittersweet because it makes you miss your grandparents. And yeah, thank you for the reminder to cherish time with my grandmother. <laughs> Yeah, hello, 
I love listening to my grandmother's stories from her childhood, and I really respect that even as an elderly, she still follows so much of the traditions that she learned as a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.